hello guys welcome to the channel it simplified really appreciate your feedback uh, i hope you're finding these uh, videos useful and subscribing to channel in today's session on azure i'm here to talk about uh, vnet peering and uh, what it can do for you so in simple term vnet peering will allow you to uh, or allow your resources in two separate vnets to communicate with each other over a private ip as if they are on the same virtual network so say for example as you can see on the screen i have uh, two two resources i have a vm1 uh, in the vnet a and a vm2 in vnet b now at this point they are in separate so they cannot communicate with each other uh, but if there is a need to do we can do something what you call vnet pairing and once we specify vnet pairing and configure it all these resources from this uh, subnet will be able to communicate with the subnet so they'll be able to do that over the private ip so you get the low latency so they're not doing it over the uh, over the public internet and also want to tell you that uh, all these resources i have in one uh, region so these these are in central canada but you can also apply vnet peering what you call a global vnet peering across multiple regions so if you have resources say in central and in east and you want them to communicate with each other you can do something what you call a uh, global vnet pairing same same concept so that can be also done but for today's configuration we're going to do uh, within within one region and we'll see how to do that and how easy it is so i've already done all the setup so i have uh, uh, two vms running vm1 and vm2 with a private ip of uh, uh, dot four and in this case one zero four for VM two. So if I swip, flip over to my Azure portal, I have these two machines VM one and VM two, and uh, they are in uh, two separate virtual network. So VM one is in VNet A and uh, VM two is in VNet B. They are in the same resource group, ITSRG, and the location is Canada uh, Central. And uh, let's see how to do VNet peering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and expand my virtual network A. And under settings, if I go to peering, there is an option to call to add uh, vnet pairing in this right but just before i do that just want to show you that right now there is no communication happening so i am on vm1 so it's vm1 so if i try to ping vm2 from this location says that request timed out i'm not able to send the packet uh, which is uh, which is okay because uh, right now they're on separate virtual network right so let me do this way let me just continuously ping and we'll see actually sorry okay i should still drop the packet because uh, there is no peering so same thing i can check that uh, on uh, vm2 so just to show you that i'm on vm2 and if i try to ping from here you'll see that uh, it's saying request timed out it means I'm not able to reach so that's what we'll try to fix because we want them to communicate with each other over the private uh, uh, IP so let's go through the portal and uh, I'm on VM uh, the first VM one uh, virtual network and under this you can give a name I'm gonna name it uh, Select your resource manager and uh, in this case we'll choose the virtual network is VNet B because we are trying to communicate VNet A with VNet B 
and uh, make sure that you've enabled configure virtual network access setting and rest everything you can leave to the default and click on OK. Okay, so it has added the virtual network peering. So just want to make sure that that was done. We should see that now under the peering section. And under peering status, it is initiated. So it will take a moment or so for getting connected. So we'll get the connected uh, uh, sign over here. So let me just close this and let's do the same thing for the VNet B. Go under settings. Go to peering, go and add. Select the virtual network. In this case, it's going to be VNet A. Rest everything, leave to the default, and go and click OK. So it's adding the virtual network, and you can see right now that uh, it is not pinging yet, but uh, we have. Uh, uh, set it to you know uh, continuous pinging. So we'll, we, after that is done, we should see that uh, ping is uh, successful. Okay, so that was also done successfully. We just need to refresh the page. If I go to peering, you can see that that is connected. So that's good. So let's go and see. So here you go, right? So we can see that we are able to see, uh, we are able to ping uh, from uh, both VM1 and VM2, and we have successfully uh, done our VNet pairing. So this video was on how to set up VNet pairing uh, in the same region uh, within uh, uh, with the same region and having different virtual network, but this can be applied also across multiple uh, region and also just quickly just want to show you that there is also cost associated with this though creating a virtual network is free but when you do vnet pairing within the same region you have to uh, pay inbound and outbound data transfer fee and same thing there is also a charge for global vnet pairing in case we are configuring across uh, uh, multiple uh, region in that case so I hope you found this video useful on uh, how to configure VNet pairing. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.